All right, we're talking about wealth. I got about 10 more minutes. I'm going to cut this in half. Income is not synonymous with wealth. We're talking to a group of people in the room who are in a company that's going to create wealth. Income and wealth are not synonymous. Write this down too as a side note. This is not your arrow. Wealth and work are not synonymous. Wealth and work are not synonymous. I know plenty of people who are wealthy who don't work. They exercise this. So how can you not get wealthy when all you're doing is exercising the number one thing you need to get wealthy? It's impossible to fail. Wealth and work are not synonymous. I know people who work like crazy that are not wealthy. I know people who don't work at all, they got plenty of wealth. They're not synonymous. Here's how you get wealthy. Your income must convert into capital. Your income has to become capital. What that means is you've taken some of your check and put it into something that's going to generate more of it, as opposed to feeling like the little money you've given, not you guys because you're in the business, but your prospects are given for the business, is taking something away from them. When people start to understand that my income must become capital, they'll then get to step three, enterprise. Income becomes capital. Capital becomes what? Enterprise. The enterprise is the introduction to wealth. You can't get rich or wealthy with income. Doesn't work. Plenty of people have tried it. I got 18 network marketing friends that tried it. Income is not synonymous with wealth. You got to turn it into a major enterprise. Your enterprise generates now revenue. Arrow over. Enterprise becomes revenue. Revenue is different than income. Look how far you've come. Income becomes capital. Capital becomes enterprise. Enterprise becomes revenue. Now watch this. Here's where, here's the difference between some of you guys that are going to hit the first level and you guys that are going to hit the top level. Pay attention. Your revenue becomes an investment. And guess what the biggest investment in the world is? Yourself. And all you got to do is keep investing in you until you become, number six, financially free. See, the difference is five and six. The investments create the financial freedom, not your income. So you're not wealthy until you can stop working and your lifestyle doesn't change, whatever that number is for you. Make sense? So I was at a point where I was still spending money in 2007 that I made in 97. Ten years prior, still making the same money from 97. So you got to understand the difference in mindset. Most of your friends, watch me, pay attention. They won't get off steps one and two. But they swear they want to be number six, which is what? Financially free. They'll look you in the face, man, I want it. I want it so bad. I said, no, you don't. You won't even turn income into capital. That's step one. Nah, man, see, I got some other things I'm going to invest in. You can't go from one to five. That's, that's how you end up broke. You ain't know about investments till we start talking today. <laughs> then all of a sudden they want to get smart. Say, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take out a little money I want to invest. No. Go through the education process of getting your mind right so you can understand how to get your money right. Capiche? So that's the formula for financial freedom. Let's go together. Step one, produce what? Income. Convert income to what? Capital, Capital becomes what? Enterprise. Enterprise becomes what? Revenue, Revenue gets re? Invested. Investments create? Financial freedom. That's all you got to do. Now you got to have the discipline to do it.